Hey guys, this is going to be one of those first impressions videos. Uh, however, due to events which have recently transpired, it's going to be a bit different. Why? A friend of mine recently got a Benchmade readout, read out, whatever you want to call it. To me, that knife doesn't say too much. He likes it, um, so I said, let me just check what YouTube has to say about it. And I watched four videos between 10 and 15 minutes long. The knives were brand new and nobody gave any useful details. When I, when I do my reviews, um, no matter if I test something like for two months, I like to give them as detailed as possible so that when you actually get the knife, you know what you're getting into. And when you work with it, you know kind of what you have to do. So if you watched my stretch two review, if the heat treatment on yours is okay, and with Spyderco, you kind of get okay heat treatment, you can drop the edge angle down to 14 degrees per side and work in very hard wood knots with it without worry. That's what I want you to get out of it. This is a Civivi Chevalier. Now, I got this knife, honestly, because of another YouTube channel. And uh, the name of the YouTube channel is Stuff We Do. Uh, I mean, his videos are very different from mine, but I just think they're very, very entertaining. So <laughs> check him out if you want to. I, I knew about the, the Chevalier for a while now. I think it came out beginning of the year. But it was actually when I saw it in one of his videos and that I said, okay, you know what, I, I, gotta, I gotta get that one. And it did not disappoint. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the knife, tell you my first impressions on it, and then I'm gonna do a little cut test so you can actually get some, I would say useful information from this video. Uh, not just uh, you seeing the knife and me reading uh, the specs or <laughs> giving you specs, which I don't do anyway. I tend to tell you what I think about it. Uh, so, the Chevalier. It's pretty cool. <laughs> First impression on it. I, I took it out of the box. Comes with the usual CVV stuff. I don't care about that. I looked into the knife, but not that much. Uh, I have the Civivi Elementum, and this one is hollow ground, D2 hollow ground blade. And I like hollow ground blades. I think they are excellent cutters, and I don't think you need uh, a saber ground blade or a convex blade or even a full flat ground blade, which is in the middle there, uh, to get the extra strength. For a folder, I think hollow ground blades are excellent because they can give you more cutting performance. This one, is a flat ground blade. <laughs> that is one detail which uh, which kind of escaped me. Uh, but I knew one thing, that Civivi has um, thin grinds, and this one is no exception. This one was uh, rather thin behind the edge and uh, had a decent-ish edge angle. Since then, I've reduced the edge angle, I've tested it, i worked with it, and I still like it. Everything except for the pocket clip. With the Chevalier, uh, thick, uh, thickness behind the edge, so right behind where this small edge ends, maybe a bit inside, 0.3 millimeters. That is about 12 thousandths of an inch thick, which is great. The steel is a 14C28N, uh, which is close to 12C27 which I kind of like. I've also played around with 4C28N, uh, 14C28N. I think uh, I have a real steel knife with that steel and uh, even my Mora Guard, but that one failed to impress. But I know kind of what to expect from it. Easy to sharpen, you can work with it, and then you can strop it back to a decent sharpness level. The reason why I got this one was uh, because I wanted a button lock. And honestly, I wanted to get the Elementum button lock, but I already had the Elementum. And so I saw this one and uh, I, stuff we do just sold it to me. <laughs> he sold me on the knife. I guess that would be the correct expression. So I, 
it's kind of uh, on him that I got this one. But I was very curious, and they did not disappoint. The knife feels very light in hand. I mean, the Elementum has some weight to it. It's smaller, but it has some weight to it. This one, it's a bit thicker, and, well, it, the action is great, but it feels much lighter, much, much lighter. And I keep <laughs> looking for the liner lock. Uh, the action is actually fantastic. You can uh, use the flipper and it's very smooth, very good deployment. Close it via the bottom lock, open it via the bottom lock. Then, of course, of course, you also have this fuller right here, which uh, you can use to open the blade. You don't really need to, but you can even grab the blade like this. The detent is not very strong. And you can also use your middle finger to flick the blade out which is okay it's very cool the one thing which uh, i don't like with this knife i can tell you that from the start is the pocket clip it's kind of uh the same thing as on the elementum it's deep carry it's blacked out that's perfect but it's kind of flimsy and i can just move this around with my fingers that's not an issue. It's gonna hold the knife in my pocket, same as this one does. But when you work with it, you will feel, like I do with this one, I already know, when I'm gonna cut with this, I will feel the pocket clip move. The good thing about this pocket clip is it doesn't really hot spot. And I don't expect this one to. It's nice and rounded, and because it moves, that might be a thing. The micarta on this one is actually great. Um, and one, uh, one more nice thing. These are T8s, so the body screws and I think also the pivot screw is T8. Only the pocket clip screws are T6s, which I like. I mean, sure, T10 is great, but if you're gonna have just one size, yeah, make it a T8 or make it a T10. Don't give me body screws of T6. This I really like. Micarta feels great in hand, very grippy. It's a dark greenish color, which I like, and a friend of mine said that uh, this uh, area here uh, for the bottom lock is just like a few millimeters. I have experience with this. I have a few Gonzo, those uh, spring-loaded Gonzos that jump out from the side, and I have abused them. I've actually batoned them and nothing happened. They did not fail. So I don't expect this one to fail. Action is great. If I use the, the button lock, I can hear like a, it, it's a bit gritty. I don't care about that. It's gonna get played in, but I don't know if you can hear it. It just sounds very good. Very nice. Um, so yeah, in hand, feels great. Feels much lighter than I thought it would. It is heavily skeletonized inside. You can see that? Nice. One thing I don't care about, but you're gonna have this with these knives, is the open back design. I keep this knife in the same pocket where I keep my keys, so if I put a very fine edge on this, my keys are gonna bite at it. Um, not an issue. Now, sharpness test. I don't use printer paper. Printer paper is a bit stiffer, and uh, it's a bit easier to cut. I use this notebook paper. The knife can do, a, I would say, a decent-ish paper cut. It's not, it's not the best, but it's decent um, compared to this one, where you can see it's much straighter. The Chevalier. You can do a paper cut, a nice uh, cleanish paper cut, but it's not the best. That's okay. Let me get my strop and let's see the edge angle. Uh, this is, uh, how can I best show it to you? I haven't checked this for myself, so uh, you and me both were gonna be surprised. So here we are where we're still moving and if i tilt it a bit more it stops so about here that is not yeah that's 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 a bit steep that's a bit steep for my liking 
but since we have the let's see the other side too okay it seems to be a bit steeper on this side you see that yeah a bit steeper on this side a bit more a bit shallower on this side so let's do this this is just regular white bark river stropping compound let's not really pay any attention not as much attention to the uh, general but this feels awesome when you strop it it's that very very um thin grind it's odd i feel like it's it's not uh when i strop it i looked at it and it, it felt like the blade was bent over to this side but it's not I just don't have many full flat ground knives standard which are this wide and have such a thinned out grinder. This is full flat ground and a very thin grind. I like it. This I can tell you already I like. Now it might be that uh, this is not going to be a hard use knife. I mean the, the elementum is uh, a bit narrower and it has a sturdier blade you can feel this is sturdier even if it's uh, if it's hollow ground but let's see where we get if we strop this one and i have no idea what i'm doing here because i don't usually work with factory factory edges all right let's uh wipe off any remaining compound if we have any and let's see if we improve the edge and yes we did improve the edge it's uh still not as good as a well an edge i would put on it but stropping improved it considerably i should have uh tried to shave with it first see if it shaves now this one does shave so just after a bit of stropping, yeah, the edge, you can see it, you maybe see the hairs. It uh, takes off hairs. The nice thing about this is this very, very thin grind. So, you know, if you're thinking about this and thinking about a hard use knife, it depends by what you understand through hard use. This is not going to be a knife for you to, uh, bite into wood and try to split wood with pry with you probably won't break the blade but you might warp you might put a warp in it because it's it's fairly thin it's thinner than uh than the stretch 2 in k390 which is thinned out it's uh half as thin the grind is half of uh, a regular spider coin dura so keep that in mind but this is going to be a good slicer. So let me get my cutting board here. Let's uh, create a bit of a mess. And just a lightweight uh, 12 pack of monster cardboard box. Uh, I said that I'm gonna try and do this. I have enough uh, of these small cardboard boxes. And in my opinion, for like probably 90% of people who get a knife, this is going to be their uh, daily, <laughs> you know, cutting up a bit of cardboard. It does bind a bit. It's maybe, maybe the black wash. Oh yeah, that, that was also one thing. I wanted to get, uh, I, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, coated black wash blades, but I wanted to try this one out. Um, simply because I've seen the way it looks and uh, kind of liked it. So this one has a more of a worn cliff style blade. And if you do some slicing motion and on the cutting board, it works but you're using it like this going tip first not the most comfortable thing but if you just want to do this huh, i like it it's a bit different than uh, other blades i have 
going at, a, at an angle through the cardboard is very easy and just cutting it against the grain slicing motion you can actually tell the difference uh, between this and uh, this one is way more sharper uh, has a smaller edge angle and it doesn't bind here you can tell the difference that there's a coating on here and it binds but you have uh, a thinner grind this is uh it's very interesting and yes you can remove the coating obviously if you don't like it so no not like this not with the tip down but rather like this all right this is just a bit of a actually pointless some people might see it as pointless uh, cardboard cutting uh, me If you can uh, get a knife and uh, unpack it, put it in your pocket and start working with it, uh, that's the kind of thing that I'm looking for. Currently I'm testing out this one and this is one of those knives that you can just uh, get out of the box, put it in your pocket and start working with it. And the elementum was that. The edge angle is a bit steeper, and the Chevalier is also that. Um, from, from videos that I've seen of it, just a few, I thought it would be a bit bigger, but uh, it, it feels good in hand, feels very comfortable in hand. Now, steep edge angle, it slides over the wood, but, due to the fact that it has a thinner grind it does bite in and this is just the grind not the edge angle because the edge angle oh this is very comfortable in the chest lever grip the pocket clip moves i can feel that instantly but in the chest lever grip this is very comfortable this is hazel, by the way, in case it matters for you. It's not a very hard wood, but it can bind a lot. And it's, it's, it's severely, it's very dried out. So, but yeah, no, this is good. Here you go. And this is the grind. This is the thinner grind. I couldn't actually wait to do this. There you go do a little prying now of course you shouldn't do this you shouldn't bite into a piece of wood and then twist this is the easiest way to uh, chip your blade or bend it but hey guys i'm a youtuber this is what i do so i have an excuse but you guys i don't think you should do it you're just gonna ruin your blade unless you're testing to see how you want to set up your edge. Now this is not a very expensive knife. And uh, I think it's a good choice to do it. So cutting all this cardboard, <laughs> that little box and uh, biting into wood. The wood didn't actually dull it. What could have dulled it is me twisting here, just rubbing the edge on the wood like this. But yeah, you see that? I mean, you can still do sort of a slice cut, um, but not too much. So does this tell you anything about 14C28N? Mm, not really, because factory edges are often not the best edges. And the larger your edge angle, the less edge retention you're going to have. But... If we can strop it back to where it's actually usable, that will tell you something about 14C28M. Now, if you care about this subject, uh, sharpening, stropping, how to set up your edges and everything, you're gonna have to check out my Patreon. Uh, I do post a lot of videos about that sort of thing there. If you don't, well, 
good on you. What I'm doing here, I don't advertise this. Stropping your blade like this, especially when I'm doing it now. Not the best way, but it can be done. And I'm very curious. I'm not curious about the steel necessarily. My main curiosity lies within uh, within the grind. An improvement. Here, down by the heel of the blade, not so easy. But once you get the cut started, you can kind of pull off a paper cut. But not a clean cut. So yeah, this doesn't tell us anything about the edge retention of this 14C28N. Does not shave. I'm guessing the cardboard really took the aggression out of it. Cardboard is a very uh, ab abrasive material. Uh, I don't know, I got some hairs here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, this is not shaving. So yeah, you get more hairs on it. But this is not just because one part of the blade shaves that doesn't mean this edge i mean this is still a good edge um you could work with this but if you're gonna have to do more cutting it's gonna become uncomfortable however you have a very nice handle to to hang on to um so guys this was my first impressions video and i'm gonna try to keep my i'm gonna call it first impression first first look first test video sounds better um, and if you guys um, care about this sort of thing let me know huh kind of a uh, uh, I was squeezing the handle probably oh one thing I didn't check and this is a good moment to check no side to side well there's a, a smidge but yeah you can it's pro it probably runs on bearings yes runs on bearings the action is is uh, good however Detent, like I said, pretty, pretty weak. You can shake it loose. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, let me know in the comment section and I will try to get to them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and as always, have a great day.